G'day everyone, James here from Synergetic, here again with another app for make.com. This time it is Screenshot One, the app that lets you turn websites, HTML or Markdown into screenshots or PDFs via an API in seconds. And it's a really cool app. It allows you to do things like competitive price tracking, website and marketing and SEO content analysis. And when you plug it into um, AI, um, it even becomes so much more powerful. And I'm going to show you today how to connect with make.com so that you can start plugging in all your favorite tools together. Now, by this stage, you will have purchased the app. You can find a link for that in this video's description below. And when you purchase it, you're going to get two things. You're going to get a installation link for the app, which will take you to a page like this. And you're also going to get a license key. And I'll show you how to use that license key after. So um, click on that installation link. This is a description of the various action searches um, and other modules that you'll find with this app. These are continually updating, um, but also don't hesitate to reach out if you have any special requests for this app. Otherwise, if it all looks good, click on install, select your organization and press the install button here. And that's gonna make it available inside of the make.com scenario builder so that you can choose modules like take a website screenshot, um, and the other one is take an animated or scrolling website screenshot. Cool. Um, if you are using the app for the first time, you'll have to set up a connection to your Screenshot One account, and you're going to need uh, your access key to Screenshot One, as well as the license key, which you'll get in the email from us. So you'll just plug that in here, and then I'll show you how to get the access key inside of um, Screenshot One. Uh, just log into your dash.screenshot1.com, go down to API keys, and then copy this access key here. Don't share it with anyone, it's confidential. Um, plug it in there, and then that'll set up a connection to your screenshot one. Now I'll show you how to use um, one of the modules here and show you the kind of data that you get. So um, I'm just gonna plug it straight into google.com. You can choose individual like CSS selectors. Um, you can scroll certain elements into the view. You can offset um, that scroll full page. This is where I can choose a format. I'm gonna choose a PNG. You can also simulate different devices as well if you need be. So I'll choose an iPhone SE. See what it looks like on that. You can block all kinds of things, ads, trackers, um, banners, but I won't. Um, and then any sort of delays or proxies if you're trying to simulate a particular um, geography. Um, but if I click run, hopefully this should return me a uh, an image binary file. And then you can take this data and you can plug it into your Google Drive. You can feed it directly into AI um, here and you can run all kinds of analyses on that. So I hope this is helpful. Um, feel free to check out our website. We've got a bunch of use cases that you might use this app for um, and connecting it with other apps. Otherwise, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the comment section or through our website. We look forward to hearing from you. All right, happy automated, guys. Thank you.